New at six, changing the narrative of Milwaukee. A new group is hoping to fix economic disparities facing blacks in the city. Sean Gallagher reports on plans to improve equality. The economic disparities in Milwaukee for African Americans are great. It's in the pay, home ownership, and unemployment rates. But in steps the African American Leadership Alliance, trying to take a small step towards changing that in the next five years. Things are popping at the Sherman Phoenix. More than two dozen black-owned businesses are thriving. But outside those doors, it can be frustrating for African Americans in Milwaukee. Yes, it's a little bit more difficult, I would say, especially with being out here is definitely segregated. People don't realize that there are black and brown people in the city of Milwaukee. But the African American Leadership Alliance wants to change that. Some 80 local leaders and allies are looking to lessen the economic gaps facing black people in the city. If there's a better way of life, means to life, uh, a better living situation for African American uh, in Milwaukee, African Americans in Milwaukee, that also means it translates to a better Milwaukee as a whole, period. Local real estate developer Kalen Haywood Sr. is one of many involved with the group. Growing up, all of his mentors were white. He says having a black developer would have meant a lot. It's important to give an opportunity for people that are behind me to be exposed. Exposure is key. So, you know, it's very hard for you to be something that you've never seen. And in order to change the narrative, these black business owners know it's in their hands. If we stick to the stereotypes that African-American people, you know, can only be the borrower and not the lender, then we'll continue to be that way. Baker Adija Smith hopes this is the recipe for success for more Milwaukee black business owners like her. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.